。你好，我是杨伟。<笑> Hello everyone, welcome back to 说说 Chinese， 说说中文。I'm Shuo, your native Chinese speaking teacher living back on Thailand. Last week I posted this game on Instagram and it was really fun. If you haven't checked it, click the link in my description and go to my IG to find this post. And I noticed that many of my students don't have a Chinese name, or their current names are directly translated from their real names, which may sound a little bit weird to a Chinese native speaker. So I decided to make this video to talk you through how to make a beautiful and proper Chinese name for yourself. And I will also tell you what are the names that you would never want to have. First of all, I want to tell you about my name. So my full name is Xiong Shuo. Family name goes first, so Xiong is my family name, and it literally means bear. When I was little, I really don't like this name because I feel like it's big and fat and clumsy and stupid. My given name Shuo, as in this word Shuo Shi, master. That's because my parents want me to be knowledgeable and have a master's degree, but it seemed that they forgot. Shuo has another meaning, which means big. So my full name could be a master bear or literally a big bear. When I grow older, I don't care about my name anymore. I even used it to impress my students when I first started teaching in a Thai high school. I told every classes that my name is Big Bear, and it always ended up with my student rowing with <laughs> laughter. So like, ah, it's so funny. And I thought, wow, this is a nice icebreaker. So I told the literal meaning of my full name to every classes I have ever taught. Until three years later, one of my Thai students told me that actually, your name Big Bell, it kind of has another meaning in Thai language. It turned out that I told all my students from three years old to seventy years old that my name means big. Two things you need to know before you start choosing a good name for yourself. Number one, Chinese people will state last name first, followed by the given name. Maybe one or two characters, and sometimes it could be more than two characters. Number two, we usually call each other's full name. For example, my friend will call me Xiong Shuo. They will never call me just by my given name, Shuo. If you're gonna find a Chinese name for yourself, you might want to start with a surname. Try to find a real surname that Chinese people do use a lot, instead of use the translation of your original name. Here is the list of commonly used surnames. You can choose the one of the surnames that has the similar meaning or similar pronunciation with your original name. For example, one of my students from Instagram, her family name means the one who listens. So I searched the list. And I found out this word, xiao, xiao, and it means quiet. It could be a great choice for her. Besides a good meaning, you can also choose a surname based on the sound. Normally, you want to find a surname that is easier to be pronounced, such as Li, Yang, Tang, etc. You don't want to find your surname like my surname, Xiong. Imagine this. 你好，我叫熊熊。我的名字叫。For the given names, Chinese given names can actually reflect the characteristics of the times. For instance, my parents were born in 1949. In their generation, people love the name that shows patriotism, such as 爱国，建国。建党 or my mother's name, Yu Hua. Yu means Jade. Hua is short for Zhonghua Renmin Gong He Guo, which is actually Zhongguo. So she's the Jade of the country. In the eighties, the names of the boys are often include the meaning of great, mighty, and strong, such as Wei, Qiang. Or Gang, while the ghost names include the meaning of beautiful, gentle, and quiet, such as 
Li Rao Jing. Later, people gradually emphasized their personal characteristics and began to be reluctant to have the same name with others. So parents would choose the three characters full name for their kid instead of just two characters. But in fact, it turned out to be counterproductive because from this generation, parents started to find their children's name on the internet. And there are only a few popular names on the internet. That's why Zi Xuan, Tian Yao, Hao Chen, this kind of really, really beautiful name now can be seen everywhere in China and they are not special anymore. On the other hand, the full names that only has two characters become more special. Men with two characters full name make up only 10% of the total population. Women make up only 8%. So if you want to choose a Chinese name for yourself, it's actually not a bad idea to try two characters names, which you will find simple and nice. Such as my student Alex, whose grandparents were from China, so he already had his family name, Rong. I googled the meaning of Alex, warriors. The first given name that came into my mind is Yong, which means brave or warrior. But it would be a little bit difficult to pronounce if his full name is Rong Yong. Rong Yong, and it sounds a little bit weird. That's why I decided to replace Yong with this word Xiao, Xiao, which you can see in the Chinese idiom Xiao Yong Shan Zhan, Xiao Yong Shan Zhan. So Rong Xiao is a simple and nice name with the similar meaning to his own given name. Last but not least, if you finally find a great name for yourself. Don't forget to ask your Chinese friend's opinion or Google this name to see whether it has any weird meanings. There are some names which have great meanings, but the combination of the first name and the last name may cause some misunderstandings. Yang, Yang, hmm, easy to pronounce. Wei, oh, good meaning means mighty. I want to be mighty. Hmm. Yang Wei. Ni hao, wo shi Yang Wei. If you already had a great Chinese name, don't forget to leave it in comment to share your name with me and share with everybody. Or maybe I can help you check whether it has any weird meanings. So if you like this video, don't forget to hit on the thumbs up button and subscribe my channel, turn on the notification bell so you won't miss out the great chance to improve your Chinese. I'm Shuo from Shuo Zhongwen. I will see you in my next video. 再见!